Hello, welcome. Today, we're going to be checking out something that I built myself. As you can tell, my skin has changed because uh, I wanted to change. Yeah, but anyway, are you ready for me to show you what I have built? Some ads everywhere. Dumb stuff. Stop it! Dumb ads. Ads are stupid. Um. But. This is what I have built. Boom. It's like a little medieval little village thingy. Uh, this is my house, obviously, because why wouldn't it be? Cool looking house. I like the roof. The roof was a little di was well it took forever to build, but I like this little part right here where it just goes into like this little training area, like little targets to sh with the target blocks to shoot at with my bow diamond block right there to signal the ca the uh, like village gem, and uh, this is the flag that is mine and it's just banners everywhere this is a nice farm with some sugar cane some cacti some melons pumpkins beetroot wheat uh some cocoa beans bamboo oh and this is the little trading pathway like um you get to trade with all 16 different villagers one two well wait, wait, wait uh so right here we have the armorer who gives you iron and one emerald for an iron chest plate because i have because i got all of these guys from like zombie villagers i just spawned them in and cured them next to their block but the best thing you can get is diamond is a diamond helmet with unbreaking one on it which is kind of good not as good as netherite which is what i have here and i also bought the mending book from this guy right here this is the main person because he gets the coolest place he's got a window kind of looking into the like dining area but not really because cobblestones in the way but he does sell an enchanted book with mending on it for a single emerald and a book which is a really good deal um then he's also selling lanterns, flame one, which is also pretty good for bows. He's also selling clocks in case you don't want to get gold. He's also selling name tags, which is also really good because you can't craft them. So this is like the best guy. We also have the armorer here with all that stuff. We also have the butcher here selling rabbit stew, cooked rabbit, cooked beef. He's also selling emeralds if you give him kelp block and sweet berries which is still pretty good um, and he's, then we also have the cartographer here and selling an empty map he's also selling ocean explorer maps which if you didn't know um, he tells you the locations for all the like cool ocean stuff in like the ocean nearby I guess it's not really nearby because when, once I got one it just showed me like all the way in the top left corner with like a uh, monument notion monument like in this area but it does show you where where they are so that's a good thing and then there's also a woodland explorer map which I think shows you villages and stuff like maybe woodland mansions which is pretty good and it's, also, it's also selling item frames and banners good this is where i got the banner color for the flags and stuff and there's also he's also selling banner patterns which is also which is the border indented which is this one right here this is what it looks like i chose red because duh and then i also have the cleric which is selling one emerald for two redstone one emerald for a lapis, one emerald for glowstone dust, 
one emerald for Ender Pearl, which is a good Aww. deal. And then also one emerald for basically just free enchantments. Also, one nether wart for an uh, emerald. So if you have a nether wart farm, you can just get a ton of experience. Or you could just get a ton of glowstone, lapis, redstone, whichever you need for an emerald. It's perfectly fine. Um, and it's also, it also kind of bothers me how he doesn't, now it doesn't look like he can see, but he's staring at me. Creepy. Oh, we also have the farmer here. So one emerald for six bread, emerald for two, for four apples, one emerald for 18 cookies. <laughs> he likes cookies, I guess. You can also buy suspicious stew, which is usually found, I think, only in, uh shipwrecks so that's a good thing you can get in a you can get this achievement for that then you could also get an emerald for a cake so you don't have to have like an animal farm to get some cake and if you need to brew stuff you can just get an just buy just get an emerald buy some glistering melons um which i'm pretty sure gives you healing potions um correct me if i'm wrong and we also have a fisherman here, giving you a bucket of cod for an emerald, or an emerald for a bucket of cod, an emerald and six raw salmon for six cooked salmon, which kind of isn't a good deal, unless you want to just use one coal to get a salmon to, just, to cook it yourself, but whatever. But he's also giving you a really good fishing rod, luck of the sea one and lure one, and if you have like a... I'm pretty sure a an anvil or a smithing table maybe I think it's just an anvil you can combine them to get to you can buy two of these make it better and then one tropical fish for an emerald a puffer fish for an emerald and a boat for an emerald so still pretty good it's not the best um then we also have a Fletcher here with 16 arrows or an emerald for 16 arrows, an emerald for a bow, an emerald for a crossbow, an emerald for a bow with power 2, a tripwire hook for an emerald, an emerald, and an arrow for 5 arrows as healing, which doesn't really make sense because you're going to have to get hurt to get healed, but okay. Um, then we also have a leather worker here, which, which you can get some black pants. I know, right? And you can also get, I think, purple maybe like a purple hat you can also get just a, like a light gray shirt you can also get some horse armor which is nice and this is the best part you can get a saddle for an emerald it's like the best deal <laughs> and then we also have a, a stone mason and, and which is an emerald for 10 brick which I don't care about me personally um, and an emerald for four chiseled stone bricks and that's like my favorite stone bricks so I'm willing to pay that then for an emerald for four polished andesite wait it's also a pretty good deal normally um, one nether quartz for an emerald which kind of isn't that good of a deal but an emerald for a blue terracotta I do not really care about and then an emerald for a block of quartz. That's also really good. Now, I haven't really maxed out the last two because they wouldn't uh, restock, but I'll probably do that in this video. Then we also have a shepherd, which will give you shears if you give them an emerald. An emerald for four gray carpet, a light gray dye for an emerald, an emerald for a black bed, hence the color of the beds. And one magenta die for an emerald, and an emerald for a purple banner, then an emerald for eight paintings. Eight paintings, yeah. Um, so now I'm probably just gonna need to get some emeralds. Cause, well, a uh, toolsmith, yeah, I'm gonna need to get some emeralds. So right now he's giving you a stone axe if you give him an emerald, which, eh. An, em an iron ingot for an emerald, it's not very good, and an emerald for a bell, yeah. I mean, you could get an iron pickaxe with fortune 1 and breaking 2 and efficiency 2, which is really good for an emerald. And a diamond for an emerald, which no, 
I mean, it's worth it because it's an enchanted shovel. Uh -huh. But I just need, need to get some emeralds. Wait, 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 wait. Can you, can you, no! Huh? Can you give me... Okay, so now I'm just gonna need to get some emeralds. Wrong button. <laughs> I'm going to get some emeralds. And then I'm going to trade with him. To get him maxed out. Oh, wake up. <laughs> um... One, two, three. Ah. Alright, guess I'm buying bells. There we go. Alright, so now this is a diamond shovel with them breaking one, so it's kind of a little bit better, so it is still worth a diamond, though. Um, one, two, three. Okay. Buy more bells. Um, axes. Um, Alright, this is not working. I want to know where that enchanted diamond pickaxe is, though. So close. <laughs> Fine. I guess I'll just get a diamond. Let's get a couple diamonds. Uh. It, and one, two, three, four, five. Five's definitely enough. Oh, fine. Uh. I don't like waiting. Daytime. There we go. Now wake up. Now let me try. It. Um, I don't want that. Okay, so there we go. Now it's max level. And this is a diamond pickaxe with silk touch. So if you want to get like, want to grab some whatevers without your tool, without it breaking, we're giving you. If you just want like diamond ore, good deal. <laughs> It's a diamond, you get a diamond pickaxe with silk touch. Nice. Uh, now I'm gonna clear my inventory. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so stick around because uh, this is gonna take a while and I don't want you to leave because you need to continue watching because I'm still showing you things. <sighs> I just threw that on the ground. Wrong button. I don't care about that stuff anyways. Okay, there is that, there is that, there is that. Alright. And we're done now. So now to max out the weaponsmith. Which gives you an iron axe, which is better and for the same price. And all you need to use is one coal. Good. Um, you get an enchanted iron sword with Band of Arthropods 2 on it which I'm pretty sure is used to kill spiders. He's also selling bells. Okay. Okay, this is very fun. It takes forever for this to like level up. He's only level two. So you know what? I'm pretty sure I'm just going to uh, leave that for myself. Or maybe we'll just restock later. I don't know. I'm gonna continue showing off though. Um, so basically, that's all of that. Uh, I've shown you the farm. And if you haven't noticed, it's literally in the middle of a lake. Like, I spawned next to this lake, then I was like, I have got to build something in this. And that's what I did. And I fit, and it fits perfectly. And. So now it's time to show you the inside of this amazing thing. Obviously the, we got red carpet. This is my armor stand with my stuff in it. I'm going to leave this in my inventory just a bit. You can take a look at those stuff. They don't have anything on them except for mending. So if you are like, what's on that? What are on them? I don't know. Um, it's just mending, 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 mending. Well, there's mending and flames, so yeah. But there's also mending. And just regular arrows. And I also have a pet. Got a pet parrot. Um. If I moved everything? Yeah. Um, so then this is the dining hall. Some shelves with lanterns on them. Okay, see, so look, there's some shiny plates. Just sit right here, eat your food, 
nice. Got some mugs there, which is just flower pots, but don't tell anybody because they're just going to be drinking dirt. This is the royal bedroom. Uh, we got some blue orchids and some bamboo in these flower pots to make it look nice. We got some little privacy banners because you can't really see the bed very well. And we also have little light switches for when it's dark out. Uh, they also they have a, also have a cat. Um, and then there's just chests here for storage in case anyone wants to store stuff. Just triple bed. This is the um, fat king size bed. <laughs> Yeah, because, um, why not? We also have the royal kitchen over here with some, with a furnace, blast furnace, smoker, chopping board. We also have a trash can, just a hole with lava in it. Um, we also have a fridge, which just has barrels in it, storing stuff that doesn't have anything in it right now, because I'm lazy. Um, we also have a granite. It's we also have another granite chopping board, more furnaces, another trash can, uh, and then we also have the a little training area, some target blocks. Uh, and if you're wondering where the warriors are going to train, uh, there's going to be like two people by the wall. They're going to have like their armor and stuff, and then they're going to have, then they're just going to. Go, yeah, and kill each other, or go to sleep forever. One of them, one of them's gonna go to sleep forever. Maybe if they bleed out, doesn't really matter though, because I I would like some strong warriors defending from monsters. I have some bamboo right there as a farm. We have some nice stuff here, and I was lucky to actually spawn in a pretty big jungle. Like, you can see the end of the jungle over there. Um, like, uh, like, all the way over there, like, somewhere. And then there's, like, a little bit over there. It's, like, a pretty big jungle, though. But I was lucky enough to spawn right in, like, I was lucky enough to spawn, like, right here, looking this way. <laughs> And I turned around and I was like, whoa, there's a lake, like a giant pond, but whatever. Mm, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's just check out this guy, see if he's restocked yet. No, I really want to get him to level three, so I'm going to get some iron. Uh, I'm just going to get a whole stack, don't care. Finally, level three, level four. All right, there's that. Um, so now he's selling an emerald for a bell. Okay, now he's max level. Woo! Yeah. Okay, so level four is an emerald for an enchanted diamond axe with smite two, which I guess is fine. But you do get a diamond sword with sharpness too, which is better than a netherite sword with no sharpness. Or a trident with no, like, I mean, I can't get sharpness, so I guess it's better than a sh trident. Yeah, altogether. Unless it's got, like, a uh, channeling on it, which shoots lightning from the sky and whatever. But, um, yeah, that is pretty much all I was going to show you in this video. Uh, yeah. So. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you. In the next video. Also, goodbye. And have fun.